Howdy! In today's video we'll be reviewing Frosted Glass by Rust-Oleum. We'll take a closer look and see how this product works and how it stands up against use. Frosted Glass does is take an ordinary window and turns it opaque with a paint texture. So you just spray it on with the can. And so this window obviously is untreated and this is the window I treated a couple days ago. And it's created this white film that, that uh, distorts the image and refracts the light. We'll go ahead and put some more frosted glass on this pane. What I've done is masked off a small area here with blue painter's tape and some cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and apply the frosted glass inside this square so we can see how it works. To apply the frosted glass, shake the can vigorously for two minutes after the mixing ball begins to rattle. Hold the spray can about 10 to 12 inches away from the surface and spray in a back and forth motion, slightly overlapping each pass. It takes about 10 minutes for the frosted glass effect to take in, and that happens when it dries. After it dries, you can remove our stencil and admire the frosted glass effect. And you can see everything behind the square kind of disappears with a slight blur. That car is almost completely gone. You just get a little black tint there. Now one of the big questions I have is how hard is it to remove this film once it's placed on? This is adequately dried and cured for a while. So now it's uh, capable of me trying to remove it with this razor blade. The can says to put it at a 15 degree angle and scrape. So let's see what that does. So right from the corner, it peels off very easily and it scrapes easily here. Look at that. Let's try from the center here. So. Does seem to come off easily. So that gives a good question. How scratch resistant is this? Did it take a fingernail? So it's really kind of messing it up with just the fingernail. Um, hmm. So durability is definitely not a high quality of this. So this top one wasn't very scratch resistant. I want to check the bottom one's ability to stand up against light scrubbing with soap um, or light detergent and water. Well, that held up surprisingly well. It's good to the touch. Throw my hands across it, nothing's happening. I in introduced fingernails though. It scratches it right up. The fingernails are too rough for that surface. And the simple razor blade takes the stuff off nicely. I view frosted glass as a buy. The frosted glass went on easy. All I had to do was mask off the areas I didn't want it to go on to. Dried in about 10 to 12 minutes. After that, it was nice to easy to touch. Uh, you were able to remove it easily with razor blades, even after it's been on there for a while. And then you can also wash down that surface with water, as it says, without it coming off. I did find it had a problem with fingernails, so if it's going to be in reach of children that like to touch things, it might scratch, and all you'd have to do is reapply a little bit too, maybe mask it off with some cardboard, and get that surface touched right back up. This video is not sponsored by Rust-Oleum. I bought this can on my own accord, and I do consider it a buy. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to get busy and frost the other glass. Now with a lot of Painting prep work is key in order to getting a nice job, so I went ahead and used masking tape all the way around and cardboard to just ensure that I didn't overspray on anything I didn't want the frosted glass effect on, and then let adequate dry between coats. The whole process took about 30 minutes per window set. Thanks for watching.